It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Motion Gate Dubai. Coming in at number 10 we have Smurf Studio Tours. Now on this Smurfing ride it takes you along the Smurfs and their movie sets. However, be careful as the evil Gargamel and his cat are lurking about. On this ride, you will hop onto your vehicle, then boom off into the Smurf-tastic adventure as you go around and meet many of the Smurfs. Over here on Theme Park Coasting, we love these dark rides, and if you come to Motion Gate Dubai, a trip is not completed without a ride on this Smurfing ride. In at number 9, pack your bags and get ready because you are off to Hotel Transylvania. On this ride, you get the unique opportunity to explore the hotel that is home to some of the craziest creatures. The whole area around you is heavily themed to the film series, making sure that you are really immersed within the story. This spooktastic attraction is roughly around 8 minutes long so be ready for a journey and a half. Again with it being a kids film it is perfect for the whole family to enjoy as there are so many funny moments that even might crack up the most serious person in your group. So what are you waiting for? Book your hotel stay today. In at number 8, Ghostbusters Battle for New York is where you need to gear up and help the Ghostbusters save the Big Apple. As this is themed to the, obviously, Ghostbusters, it would be wrong for them not to make it a shooting ride, so not only can you explore the world of Ghostbusters, but you can also compete against your friends, which I personally think is the best kind of ride. During the battle, you come across against many different types of ghosts and ghouls, however, there is nothing compared to the final fight where you take on the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And that sure is a challenge. So buckle up as this ride is a hard fight. You can't lose, but if you ever feel unsafe, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Get your umbrellas out because at number 7, the weather is saying it will be cloudy with a chance of three balls. We have a exposition. This rapid ride will have you watering from your mouth as the amount of giant foods that we all love like burgers scattered across the ride. I forgot to mention as well you can get wet on this ride potentially even getting soaked because not only will some of these giant foods look very tasty they might also squirt you a bit so watch out for that. We recommend that you do this river exhibition during the sunny weather which fits in perfectly with Dubai's lovely hot weather. So when you are going on a nice hot day, this ride is definitely a must do. If you thought you've seen the end of the Smurfs, well you're sure wrong because get ready as at number 6 we have the Smurf Village Express which is actually the first roller coaster on our list. This coaster takes you on a great journey in and out of the Smurfs Village. So if you've ever wanted to travel about in style, then look no further, as there is nothing more cool than flying past giant mushrooms along with the Smurfs. We would recommend this ride for any younger children who are trying to conquer their first fears of roller coasters, as there is nothing better to face your fears than with the Smurfs. Coming in at number 5, we have Dragon Gliders, an interactive ride that takes you into the world of how to train your dragon. This heavily themed experience has everything from animatronics to screens and an intense ride section, so what more is there to ask for? To make things even more unique, your car will spin around making you feel so much more immersed into the story. However, watch out for the final section as that's where you get to fly your very own dragon. Well, not really, but there's really nice and scenery throughout and we would definitely make sure you want to roar. In at number 4, we have the Green Hornet High Speed Chase. Now, if you love the colour grey, well then, 
this ride is for you as well as the entire ride is great and I mean everything the floor, the walls, the track with the only things not being great is the sky and your train but as a ride this is a fairly fast paced roller coaster there is a lot of going around tight bends and getting some good old fashioned airtime. So as a ride in general it's got the thrills and it has the fun moments but let's be honest who could forget the colour grey. We are now entering the top 3 rides whoop, whoop, and no ride is better for number 3 than Madagascar Mad Pursuit. This is a jam packed thrill coaster that mixes a bit of a dark ride with a thrilling roller coaster. You join your favourite Madagascar characters as you become the main event at the next circus. Now this ride has a really creative launch as you are shot through a cannon into the circus. You are launched into flaming hoops and all sort of headbangers are about so if you are up for a bit of a party then head down to Madagascar today for their mad pursuit. Coming in at number 2 we have Zombieland Blast Off. The only drop tower located at the park but what a drop tower it sure is. Now if you've ever had the dream to be shot up in the air only to then come plummeting back down again then look no further as this ride is right up your street. You will be screaming and laughing throughout as you are launched right up into the air. What's so great about this ride is that when you are in the air you get to appreciate the great views of Dubai. Also with this ride being themed to the film Zombieland expect a heavily themed queue which is what has to make it one of the best queues over there however it can also get quite long on those busy days. Now is the moment that you've all been waiting for as we have got the number one spot and it is Capital Bullet Train. This ride is themed to the very popular TV series The Hunger Game and the theming makes you feel so much like you are doing the game itself. So if you are a big fan of this movie then I would recommend coming to the park just for this ride alone. This ride has to be amazing and offers so many good features including a loop and an inversion but also a launch. If I was to name what this ride is like it would have to be a launch coaster mixed with a boomerang so if you are feeling up for the challenge then all aboard the Capital Bullet Train. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also if you enjoyed the video at the top we have got two videos that we know you will love and at the bottom there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button but with all that said there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasted and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.